Hi, I'm Suzanne Gilbert and I'm here to give you the construction update. Brian Ho of TCF Architecture and Tim Cassad of Lighted Construction are both going to fill you in with the recent news. Brian, can you give us an update of the construction project that we're working on? Yeah, over the last few months since the last um, update we gave, we've been moving uh, pretty fast. This has been a fast project so far. Um, we've come a long ways. And so we're nearing the end of our drawing phase, the design phase. We just recently um, submitted for permit, so that'll be in review over the next uh, couple months. We'll be working on finishing the drawings and the mm -hmm. contractor will be working on gearing up for construction. So we'll start to see some activity on the site here uh, over these next couple months. It's really exciting for us. Can you tell us um, uh, about how this project compares with the bond expectations and anything else that might be different? Yeah, we've been able to um, hold all the bond um, promised numbers that uh, were out there to begin with and actually um, exceeded those. And so we have a capacity of 560 students, which was in the bond um, promise to begin with. But um, we've been able to increase the number of classrooms from 24 to 31. And that includes uh, general ed classrooms, specialty classrooms for music, for uh, stage. Uh, for special ed life skills programs and the additional classrooms allow us to um, both have additional specialty programs as well as um, support smaller class sizes. Well that's really great. The district was in desperate need for some extra life skills classrooms and some of the special needs classrooms. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about those? Yeah, the life skills classrooms are designed to serve the kids who are um, have, have the highest needs. And there's um, not very many places in the district where those kids can be served. And so being able to provide that type of uh, service at this new building is really exciting. And so those classrooms are designed to serve um, that student population, um, mm -hmm. just a handful of kids in each classroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only is it a classroom space, but there's also um, separate bathroom and changing facilities in those spaces as well. Well, the district is very grateful for those. Thank you. The other thing I really liked is there's a couple of very inspiring spaces. One of my favorites is the library. Can you tell us a little bit about the library? Sure, yeah. With the, um, with the budget we've had, um, we've really worked hard to try to do a lot with a little. And so mm -hmm. um, we've been uh, getting creative with the materials that we've used and the, um, the layout of the spaces. And so the mm -hmm. library is a really exciting, um, exciting space, inspiring space for kids to learn in. And we've been looking at uh, any opportunity we can, whether it be the library or um, even the, the corridors and the circulation as kids walk through the building, mm -hmm. um, the classrooms, the multi-purpose room, just trying to bring in some um, inspirational uh, materials and design into those and not only inside the building but also trying to capture um, exterior spaces so there's a courtyard a learning courtyard outside the building that's uh, created by a couple of the classroom wings that um, is not just outside space but it can be used for a learning space as well well that's wonderful the other thing uh, that I really enjoyed was the fact that there is a ton of natural daylight mm -hmm. coming into the space some really large effective windows that um, help open up the whole interior we know that mm -hmm. uh, views and daylight are, are really beneficial to um, student learning and so mm -hmm. uh, it's important for us to be able to find ways to bring in the daylight and also let the kids see out to the natural environment um, that they're surrounded by. Mm -hmm. Great thanks Brian. We're in the process of getting two different permits. The first is a clearing permit which will allow us to clear all of the trees and stumps from the site. The second permit will be for the actual construction when we'll start into the heavy-duty grading uh, and, and preparing the site for construction of the building. Can you tell us how Leidig is reaching out to the local subcontractors for this project? Sure, we're, we're doing it in a variety of methods. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is a week or two ago, we had an outreach program at the high school where we reached out in conjunction with the district to multiple subcontractors and suppliers in the area and had our project team there, had drawings, specifications, that kind of thing. So interested subs and suppliers could come look at the project here firsthand, the schedule, what we were expecting from, from the various great uh, groups of work. And uh, it was very successful and, and uh, we're hoping for a great input from the local subs. That's wonderful, thank you. Uh, can you tell us now what we could expect next? Well, uh, for right now, we have the first bid package been issued and we'll be bidding in April. So uh, that's the civil package, which will be the earthwork and, and excavation. And then after that, we'll follow up with various trades for structural steel, concrete, uh, carpentry, all that kind of work that follows on. We will have a website up for the um, community to look at. It will be eastdivision.leidig.com. Uh, it'll have a 
ton of resources there for people to see, uh, live webcams of the school, content on, on the schedule, uh, on upcoming bid packages, contacts for the district and for the Leidig team. Uh, it'll just be a great resource for people who are interested in the East Division Elementary project to go there, have kind of a one-stop shopping to find out information about the school. It's great. It's going to be a great resource for us. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We're very excited to have TCF Architecture and Lighted Construction making such great strides on our projects. Just in a couple of months, we're going to be doing the groundbreaking and our new school is on its way. Uh, thank you very much for watching this and we hope to continue to keep the community informed. Mm -hmm.